What, what do the people of Chucky think? What about the people of Chucky? Well, one day, browsing on TikTok, a video popped up, and it just so happened to be Chucky. And you might see some familiar things in this. Now, on my channel, I do not use people's names. I do not dox people. That is not my MO, and I will never be that way. So, as you know, the names are blocked out. Their pictures are blocked out. You can go find the video, but I personally will not be putting their information on my channel. Now, some of the video is, I love my home. I, this place is beautiful. It's different scenarios like that. But some of the comments I kept because they were quite interesting to me. And is a telling sign about how people feel in Chucky. Now, this does not speak for all people in Chucky, but there are some things that I want to go over. Like a few times in here, it's mentioned how racist Chucky is, which it's predominantly white, so I get where that is. Then you have people saying, don't go, this is clickbait. And people trying to say it's the wrong town because they don't want people there. Here we have that letter Z. I don't even know if it has anything to do with the rock, but it stuck out to me. And then you have people territorial over Chucky versus Tahoe, which is just weird. But moving on, you have people that are tour guides and they want to belittle anybody that doesn't know exactly the location. And here's where the creator said that the AI had generated all these pictures. So all these pictures were generated by AI, not the person themselves. But here you have somebody saying that they have a house there. And then another person saying that they can't wait to burn it down. Like, who even says that? This person said everyone I've met from here has been problematic, which is how they feel. Then you have people that hate it so much and cannot wait to get out. People saying it's a rich town full of mean people. A lot of F truckies. A lot. This guy has beef with the town. Not sure why. This person grew up there, but leave it alone. It, they don't want people there. It's very obvious. This guy, girl, is saying massive overdose going on right now, and they live there. And then I'm not going to read all of this. You guys can read this. Um, but as you can tell, they're very, very, very territorial of their area. So the presser that I shared where it was stated that locals were not cooperating, I mean, that, that makes sense. And, you know, go away again. And then you have people getting into it with the person that made this video because they want to... I don't know. I get the small town thing where they don't want it ruined by city people, but this is a little over the top. And then here we have this person saying that Trucky kills babies. And then we have this one where it says that Trucky is cool unless you're on the meth side. And this person's like, there is no meth side, but it's on the Taco Bell side. Well, Trucky only has one Taco Bell. So I'm not really sure what they're insinuating there. But like most times, like, at least that would be difficult to escape. Thank you. Now, would you look at the background? What are you doing sitting here? Being in the background about Hawaii news involves a bunch of kids. Hmm? You didn't see it, but... But you were telling me I'm watching a news clip about Maui, Hawaii. That has to do with missing kids. And if something that has to do with Placer County, Nevada is there, you all know where we've seen Placer County, Nevada. Yeah. They're an old Kelly Rodney thing. A missing child. Good afternoon. I'm Angela Sullivan, a public information officer for the Placer County Sheriff's Office. I'm joined by our unified command today, and we're providing an update on the investigation and search for Kelly Rodney. We've difficult to escape. Encounter all the justice fights. Listen for the high voice siren. Kelly Rodney, listen for siren. Motherfucker that had sirens, no one heard the sirens at all. Not only that, Plastic County, Nevada. What are you really talking about, Maui Ford? We all know the other issue with these kids. Hey, I bet everyone is watching my channel. So answer this, why the hell are you commenting on anything that has to do with Maui? You know how far away you are from Maui? 2,486 miles away. That's just so weird. Why are you talking about this situation 2,486 miles away? Just last year, I covered a missing underage girl. And I tried to like, find this little girl by using my platform on social media. When I did, a bunch of these big YouTube channels and one in particular fucking weird ass Ukrainian fat ass bitch attacked the fuck out of me. And now, the same fucking channel who was fucking around this is fucking up 2,486 miles away, where there's a bunch of kids missing from Ireland. Well, that's awkward. That's extremely awkward. Explain that without all that. Wait a minute. You know what makes it more weird? Well, I said two videos ago. Apply to this now. If you're a sex tracker who has undocumented kids, they'll take your terrestrials. And if you're a terrestrial that has extra terrestrials, and those extra terrestrials, by definition, are aliens. They're undocumented. So you mean to tell me that Pleasure County, aka the town of Chucky, is popping up and shit in Maui that the involves some fuckery. And this is one year ago, one year ago, these two people that were in Chucky in Pleasure County are doing everything they can. To get me to stop talking about this missing girl or girls. And you look at these motherfuckers and you don't have to talk about shit. And you tell me that you know who we got shit going on. Alright, so we should be around for me. Tell you how to play this in this situation. So I'm coming down to Facebook for the GPS check in. Guess what? You check in somewhere on August 9th and August 11th. You know where that might be? Trucky. Pointing out the obvious weird shit about this whole dog character. Let me just show you a little kind of clip on who the fuck this dude is. I'm not gonna try to do it anymore. I'm not gonna do it anymore. Next up, I'm not gonna try to do it anymore. Yeah, he just said he likes little kids and has a fetish for dead bodies. Yeah, I know. This is the guy that's communicating and goes on late night YouTube. I just so happened to catch it. He called him on the phone. I'll let that guy do it. Tell him Dodge. His channel is called All American Free Jackets. They're totally the same. Over and over and over. Fuck that guy. Fuck free. So, so then on his YouTube channel, a fucking fat and crazy bitch pops up on there. 
Nikki started going down. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? Come find out. Apparently, her name is Anastasia Maitland. She works for NASA. That's what she works for. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Nikki.
because that's where my, my family's at. So, okay. Yeah, I, we're all yeah. from like um, mostly Jules, uh, Michael, and I. We're from um, the uh, Gulf of Mexico area. So, <laughs> like, we do have um, certain tropical vibe. So, okay. and, um, where would you take them in, right? Um, you know, in a sarcastic, uh, nowhere I'd ask for them to take me elsewhere. Oh, hey, that's, that's a good one. Yeah. When so, I went um, Seven Wonders of the World. I would take them to, um, like, Roswell. Or what is the town outside, right? The, the, in New Mexico. That's bold, girl. No, that's bold. Look, no, the reason the reason I would do that, I'll be like, okay, tell me if that's true. Tell me, is this what is this what everybody else look like? Is this what they do? Do they have space ice cream? No, that's uh, <laughs> the dipping dots. Yeah, <laughs> but you see what I mean? I'll be like, tell me, was that true? I need proof. That's bold. I go to Las Vegas, for instance, I take them to Las Vegas and get them drunk and drunk videos and sell the video, right? No, 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 that won't happen ever. But here's the, here's the thing, though. <laughs> if they're living among yeah. us, then that means they have the same appearance of us, right? Okay, maybe. Well, so I would say they finally integrated themselves and then they cannot have the same appearance, right? Let's, let's just say they have cat ears and the pig noses, right? And a, and a fox tail. So, and then, or something, it's just hypothetical, right? Something just totally popped up in my mind. So, like, what else would you do with them? Like, where, for example, <clears throat> Uh, what about food? What kind of food would you let them taste first? Oh, okay. so what, what is tacos al pastor? Oh, yes. Tacos al pastor. I'm probably butchering that, sorry. Tacos al pastor? You want to ask me? Tacos al pastor? Yeah, because Julie just barely had enchiladas like three weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, tacos al pastor are. Uh, a few moments later. Oh, yeah. First off, good morning. Hang out then. Second off, before we start this video, there's these three in particular people on YouTube who get really, really, really fucking upset when I start trying to figure out where all the kids are going. Why they get so irritated at me when I'm trying to find where these underage kids are going so it can stop happening? They don't like that at all. So I'm going to invite you here. First on the list to get some problems when I try to uh, speak out against sex trafficking. Say I'm hey, step on up, you fat ugly bitch. How you doing? Look at that thick, tilted beaver neck you got. Look at you, you fucking gizzard. Look, look, yellow frog gizzard. Chin's got a little equator on the end of it. It's about, to, it's about to go to the end of your chin and become a fucking little dimple, isn't it? <laughs> Hashtag beaver neck gizzard chin. <laughs> sex on the list when it comes to people who don't like other people trying to stop sex trafficking. Tony Dodge, what up, you big nosed Jew motherfucker? How you doing? And your ass definitely owned a few dirty ass fucking ice cream trucks back in the day. And the last channel who tried to make everybody think I was crazy when I was trying to out some weird sex trafficking show on the internet? Popcorn Planet. I don't know your name, but how you doing, you fucking goofy looking fuck? Horrible, I hope. 50 years old with gray skin down in his basement playing with fucking Minecraft toys, you fucking freak. Man, that's so good. Now, let's get to this video. You'll see why I'm inviting them here. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Alright, so if you've seen my videos the past few days, it's all been about weird terminology that has to do with sex trafficking and aliens. It's also been about these weird, bizarre Maui fires. You already know from seeing the last video, but what's one of the main things that everybody in Maui, Hawaii, was saying? There's a bunch of random missing kids, and it's really fucking weird. A local Maui official said a large number of the dead may have actually been children who were left home that day because schools were closed, many of them alone or with their grandparents. Is that the case? That's possible. Uh, that's that's what we're sharing uh, here internally. That is possible that there will be many children. Uh, this is the largest uh, catastrophe and disaster that's ever hit Maui. Probably it's ever hit Hawaii outside of uh, Wartime. I found a video of the cargo helicopters in Maui during the time the fire. Check this out. It hurt 55 passengers. Now, I want you guys to look at this. I'm going to show you the picture for comparison. But this was going on when they said no one was flying and no one was in the air. There were helicopters, and this looks exactly like a cargo helicopter. Military. Take a good look. Let's do the comparison. Of course, there's different models that they make to carry certain things. But what do you think was really going on, guys? Where are all those people who are missing and all those children who are missing right now? Yeah, a lot of family members lose from Molly searching for answers and for their loved ones, and now many of them are leaving with more questions and with heartache. There are hundreds of families who don't know what's going on. They're unable to come here. They're getting bits and pieces of information, and there needs to be a help. We still don't have any answers regarding the school buses as well. I mentioned the buses on a video a few days ago, assuming you had seen the video on it already. I left you all the questions, so this next video you're about to see has no audio, but if you read along, it will explain the school bus mystery.
partnership between different countries to trade things using certain routes in the ocean. Do you know where this route is? Look. Well, would you look at that? Look what's damn near directly at the halfway mark. It, the TPP agreement and the trade that was happening on this route, and possibly still is happening on this route right now, actually caused a lot of sex trafficking problems. You know, didn't like the TPP agreement because it was causing sex trafficking problems. Donald Trump. I'm going to withdraw the United States from the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which has not yet been left. The Trans-Pacific Partnership is another disaster done and pushed by special interests who want to rape our country. I mean, that's what it is. So it's a harsh word. It's a rape of our country. This is done by wealthy people that want to take advantage of us and that want to sign another partnership. So Hillary Clinton, not so long ago, said this is the gold standard of trade packs, the gold standard. And she's down to saying this is the gold standard. Then when I got involved and I started pointing out all the flaws, it's not properly addressed and practically not even discussed at all. I told you going back and looking at old news and telling you new things. That was seven years ago. You want to approve Trans-Pacific Partnership. You were totally in favor of it. Then you heard what I was saying, how bad it is, and you said, I can't win that debate. But you know that if you did win, you would approve that, and that will be almost as bad as NAFTA. Nothing will ever well, top NAFTA. That, that is just not accurate. I um, was against it once it was finally negotiated and the terms were laid out. I wrote about that in... You called it the gold uh, standard. It, well, I You called it the gold standard standard of trade and deals. You, you know said what? it's the finest deal you've ever seen. No. And then you heard what I said about it, and all of a sudden you were against it. Well, nothing beats the truth of a timestamp, baby. And he was pointing out everybody that was for it. He was like the only person being like, fuck no. Donald, I know you live in your own reality, but oh, yeah. that is not. I love how all the fucking morons in the background laugh like it's a good joke, when in reality, we all do in fact live in our own realities. The facts. The facts are, I did say, I hoped it would be a good deal, but when it was negotiated, not. which I was not responsible for, I concluded it wasn't. I wrote about that. So is it President Obama's I, fault? Is it President Obama's fault? Even announced. Look, there are Secretary, is it President there? Obama's fault? There are Because he's pushing it. There. And he's right. Obama was pushing the same thing. Look, the, the, the issue of human trafficking is... is uh, look, uh, 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 the the, 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 <laughs> the agreement made made more sex trafficking weird shit happen, and and then he's like, oh, it's actually to uh, combat human trafficking. <laughs> human trafficking is, is something that uh, we have made a top priority in our State Department and the United States government. So we have an entire um, uh, set of policies designed specifically to work with countries to prevent human trafficking. Which is still to this day not working. It's actually even worse. And uh, we've actually begun making progress in Ooh. improved enforcement, in, in improved uh, uh, law enforcement coordination. Well, that didn't work out too well, now did it? We got the border wide open, a bunch of fucking freaks coming through. NGOs have been very helpful as partners with us in identifying what are some of the paths where people are... Uh, being exploited. We actually have provisions in TPP designed to prevent human trafficking. Yeah, it's not getting prevented, but you're shit-talking the only fucking president who's had the big enough balls to call all y'all out. You don't want him in office to prevent it, because if he prevents it, he prevents your ass. There are different views about what's good for our country, our economy, and our leadership in the world. We also have to look at how we help families balance the responsibilities at home and the responsibilities at business. So yeah, like they need to be telling us what the fuck we need to do with our kids and our household and all that shit. We have a very robust set of plans. And we, the people, don't believe your bullshit any fucking more and don't give a fuck what you have to say. Donald Trump's gonna be the next president. If you don't like it, go fuck yourself. I ain't listening to no fucking leader politically unless it's him. And if it ain't him, he better fucking like you and you better like him and you better have the same exact values and morals as he does. Otherwise, a lot of people are about to be really fucking pissed off. He's the only motherfucker who's told us the truth. He's the only motherfucker who stood up for us. All you other motherfuckers, y'all got weird ass parties on islands that nobody knows about. Y'all's kids smoke crack with prostitutes and put it on laptops. <laughs> y'all see Hunter Biden walk out of uh, Capitol Hill yesterday like a little bitch. You know who would never act like a disrespectful, spooled fucking brat and walk out of Capitol Hill? Trump's sons and his daughter. They wouldn't. The last thing I want to show you before I wrap this video up. Uh, the other day when I made that video, once again, I'll play the clip because it, it just keeps relating to stuff. And people can laugh all they want, but when you see what you're about to see, if you laughed yesterday, your face is going to get red. 
and you're probably going to be embarrassed for being naive and goofy. There's one YouTuber I like a lot, but man, he did a reaction to the video and he laughed at the end and I was like, dude, come on. No, oh, I'm sure so stupid. No, I'm sure so fucking smart. A couple of days ago, I said this in a video. If you're a sex trafficker who has undocumented kids, those kids are terrestrials. And it's you, a terrestrial, that has extraterrestrials. And those extraterrestrials, by definition, are aliens. They're undocumented. All right. Now hold that thought and look at the news and look how it matches. When Hunter Biden walked out of Capitol Hill the other day, the lady that pissed him off, what did her sign say? Read it. Here, I'm going to zoom in for you, but pause it and read it. Now look what was said about the Biden administration the other day. Secretary Wolf, do you know how many children have been lost in the United States? Uh, in the last three years by the Biden administration. Uh, I can go by a number that I believe was reported in the New York Times where they talked about um, losing over 85,000 unaccompanied alien children. 85 to 100,000 un unaccompanied alien children in our country lost by this administration. Do you think that's humane or inhumane? So anybody want to laugh about the whole alien correlation thing now? Yeah, I didn't think so. Inhumane. Do you think that any of them have been placed with sex traffickers in this country? 85 to 100,000 unaccompanied minors that came across the border illegally? I don't have any data, but my experience tells me that yes, they have been. Is that humane or inhumane? It's inhumane. Am I still so stupid? So stupid. Well, you just heard it straight from the government of ours that's trying to save the kids. What they just say? The aliens are in the hands of the sex traffickers. Now, you want another space reference? What's the name of the ship out in the middle of the ocean? They got hijacked. Hmm? Another tense situation. Iranian-backed militants hijacking a cargo ship in the Red Sea. 25 crew members taken hostage. Those militants claiming the vessel seized in international waters has ties to Israel. ABC's Marcus Moore reporting in tonight. Tonight, Yemen's Houthi rebels releasing a video showing their fighters hijacking a commercial cargo ship in the Red Sea in support, they say, of the Palestinian people. A helicopter is seen landing, unloading Iranian-backed militants who swarm the deck, then make their way to the bridge where the crew appears to surrender with their hands in the air. Tonight, officials say the ship and 25 members of the international crew are being held hostage. The Houthi rebels seen moving through the ship, chanting for the sake of Gaza, claim the galaxy is an Israeli vessel. But the ship is British-owned and operated by a Japanese company, and officials say there are no Israelis on board. The Galaxy leader, last seen after it was hijacked, surrounded by Houthi boats, sailing with the Palestinian and Yemeni flags. The State Department calling it a violation of international law. So to wrap it all up with everything you've seen this entire video, if kids are called aliens, and these ships have extra space, and the purpose and function is to have space to move things in shipping containers, and this sex trafficking is being used with ships carrying the containers, then this literally could be aliens on a spaceship in a galaxy far away. And you just seen everything to get that exact sentence. What was the definition of a terrestrial again? Worldly, of the earth, consisting of land, not water. Goodbye. It's an attack because they're scared. We will win. It's on the merit of the work that Joe Biden and the administration has done. It's time to get rid of the weirdos. If somebody's acting and talking like a fucking weirdo, Call these motherfuckers out. What are they going to do? Sue us? Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, that's not going to work over here, motherfucker. I mean, what else are you going to try to do? Off me? Because you be Kanye, motherfucker.